Hi, my name is Miles Preby, and this is an overview of a shape memory alloy haptic compression garment for media augmentation in a virtual reality environment. In collaboration with Esther Fu and Brad Holsha at the Wearable Technology Lab through the College of Design at the University of Minnesota. Haptics in virtual reality environments have been implemented with many actuation technologies such as vibrotactile and pneumatic systems which both offer a variety of benefits from controllability to small form factors and diversity of haptic sensations. However, shape memory alloy haptic compression is an emerging and relatively understudied technology that provides useful characteristics for use in a virtual reality environment with the ability to induce sensations such as compression and warmth similar to human touch while maintaining soft wearable form factors. Here, we demonstrate how SMAs in a coiled configuration when embedded into garments are capable of creating spatially and temporally dynamic compression on the body in an unobtrusive form factor. SMAs actuate with heat, and in this case, we utilize joule heating. This presents the unique property of SMAs where it can provide compression and warmth simultaneously in a single actuation. However, SMAs inherent material properties result in them having a one-way shape memory effect, which in this case means it can contract when actuated but requires an external force to relax. Therefore, we place each SMA actuator within braided outer sheets to overcome the one-way shape memory effect. As the SMAs contract, the braids contract as well. When power is shut off, the braids, using their stored elastic energy, will have a tendency to elongate to its original position, thus allowing the actuators to relax. Further, it provides additional benefits for heat management and electrical separation. With this setup, we are able to achieve varying compression patterns. For our designed garment, SMAs are present on the following individually addressable body locations, providing haptic sensations on the torso, shoulders, upper arms, hands, and neck, which is not pictured. For each location, the compression and warmth sensations can be controlled to provide high or low intensities, as well as constant and pulsing sensations. With this technology, we aim to further our research in shape memory alloy compression garments by presenting this haptic garment in a virtual reality environment. We plan to evaluate how the presence and absence of haptics changes a user's video watching experience, including immersion, enjoyment, presence, and felt emotional intensity, all evaluated through objective biometrics and subjective self-reported questionnaires and qualitative interviews. Thank you to the Office of Undergraduate Education at the University of Minnesota for providing funding for this study through the Undergraduate Research Opportunities Programs.